Hi everybody, this is Milky. Today I'm going to share with you my 5 tips for how to have a great star in Doraemon Story of Seasons. These are the tips that I really wish I knew before I started the game and I hope you find them helpful. So let's get started! My first tip is getting free spring seats and gadget from the general store as early as possible. I really regret that I didn't know this earlier. At the start of the game, you can get free seats by going to the general store and scrolling down until you find a free item called spring seat set that costs zero gold, which is amazing. By buying that spring seat set, you will trigger a cutscene and then all you need to do is find the girl Gemma who works in the general store. After talking to her, you will get free seats from her. Remember to talk to her 4 times to get all 80 free seats. I definitely recommend going to the general store and getting the seats on spring 3rd right away. And also buying some good fertilizer. Then start growing those strawberries using fertilizer on that day. This is because strawberries are regrowable, so the earlier you start growing them, the more strawberries you will get during the spring. Using the fertilizer for strawberries will help you get you ready for competing in the spring harvest contest. And my second tip is while you're at the general store for seeds, you will also find other items called special delivery, which is also cost zero gold. I would recommend buying it. After getting it, it will trigger a special quest to deliver the item to mayor. During the delivery, you will have the option to choose whether to take a peek at the delivery or not. Choose not to look. Then after talking to the mayor and the Doraemon, you will get some rewards item for finishing the quest. Fatigue Frogger and the Grow Quick Powder, which is really useful if you want to plant all the seeds you just got and don't have enough energy. Also, you will go and talk to Pent, which will give you a golden Doraemon statue, which is amazing to look at and I love it. Now, let's move on to my third tip. While cleaning the farm, you'll probably get a lot of stone, woods, and weeds. Usually, these items are quite useless, but in this game, they can be really useful for growing relationship with the town people. It's pretty nice to start growing relationship with them as early as possible. No town people dislike building stone, so whenever you meet town people and uh, you have extra building stone, feel free to give it to them as a gift. If you need stone for other tests, then a better and a cheaper gift is weeds. I found that almost everybody likes weeds as a gift except Doraemon, the mayor, Hamon, Hamon's grandmother Ravi, and the couple that works at the restaurant and Serena. So for those characters, you can give building stone or other gifts instead. Some small extra tips. I would recommend not selling your stones and wood in the early game because they can be really useful to upgrading buildings later in the game. So it's nice to start collecting them at the start. And now, we'll move on to my fourth tips. Do you feel like your starting home is too empty looking with no good furnitures? Don't worry, you can get special free knobby furnitures from the carpenter store. These furnitures are the same as the Doraemon anime series. I love those furnitures and it really brings back good memories of Doraemon. You can get them for free by talking to the carpenter while the carpenter store is open. Go to the internal decor section and scroll right until you find the Nobby series. Then there you go, you can get all the Nobby furniture for free and then use them to decorate your home. Now let's move on to our final tips which is about mining. Mining is super helpful to get money and the materials at the early stage. To start mining, you can go to the mine by following the map. It's shown as the mine entrance. Once you enter the mine, you will trigger a cutscene. After the cutscene, all you need to do is find the blacksmith boy called Blake to get the pickaxe and you're ready to go to the mine. And I have some tips about mining. Also remember to clear your backpack before mining so you have some extra space for the items in the mine. If you run out of energy during mining, you can take a nap to recover. If you're going to take a nap, a small tip is take a nap just before the 30 minute mark. To explain a little bit more, so you can take a nap at 1.25pm or 1.35pm. Both will recover the same amount of energy, but if you take a nap after the 30 minute mark, you will wake up at 3pm instead of 2pm. So this is a small tip to save you some time wasted on napping. And I also recommend to not sell in the copper or iron that you got from the mine. They're useful for upgrading the tools later. 
So there you go. That's all the tips I want to share with you guys today, and I hope you find that helpful. If you do find this video helpful and want to see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out me a lot. If you know any other helpful tips, it would be amazing if you could share it in the comments. I love playing farming simulation games and currently have a Let's Play series for Doraemon. Thank you so so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.